when the going begin to be tough you need also to be tough as a saved child of god or as a person living right now on earth you are surely seeing what is happening things that are not as good as we used to hear from our forefathers telling us some stories about the earth things are tough but when the going begin to be tough you need also to be tough and for sure jesus christ our savior he knew all these things will come to be and that is why when you look at the book of john chapter john chapter 16 beginning verse 20 this is a word that the lord speaks with his disciples before he was crucified making them to be ready with what to be armed of what will be coming on their way after jesus will be taken now in heaven and we are the generation that are waiting for the second coming of the messiah so we need to be strong as the going begin to be tougher we need also to be tough let's hear this word and let us be encouraged in jesus holy name the word says like this in john 16 beginning verse 20 verily verily i tell you you will weep and mourn where the world rejoice i know you you can exp you can attest to that you will grieve but your grief will turn into joy that is a hope we, we are grieving right now as a nation we are grieving as a generation but the lord is promising us as we hold on to him not giving up not relenting but holding on to him our grieving right now will turn into joy verse 21 a woman grief a woman giving birth to a child has pain that is true because her time has come the time of giving birth has come her time has come but when her baby is born she forgets the anguish because of the of her joy that the child is born into the world right now we are grieving right now we are praying right now we are struggling with the government and all things that are happening but the lord is telling us this is just a beginning of the birth pain but after that there is a joy that will come as we hold on to jesus as we involve christ in all this knowing that for sure this god can never disappoint us nor leave us oh hallelujah let's read let re, let us read verse 22 22 says like this so with you now is your time of grief but i will but i will see you again and you will rejoice and no one will take away your joy after we have gotten of our joy africa shall be saved africa shall be separated for jehovah africa was not the african continent was not created for it to be just destroyed like that our joy as africans is coming let's hold on to jesus you who is saved as a child of god let know the situation of this earth seal you away and sold your birthright to the money and all stuffs of this earth but hold on to that birthright don't sold out your birthright when you will when you sold it out when you want it back you will not get it like esau hallelujah let's hold on to jesus and do what we need to do and do according to the will of jehovah hallelujah 23 says like this in the in that day you will no longer ask me anything verily uh, verily i tell you my father will give you whatever you ask in my name maybe some things we are not getting in life because we have not asked in the name of jesus we are playing with the name of jesus we call the name of jesus in the stuff that you even if you look you say please you can't be serious calling the name of jesus in certain stuffs let us call the name of jesus in the rightful way and in the rightful manner and knowing that as you call the name of jesus 
it shall be done unto you. That is Christ telling us, maybe we have not called him in the situation that we may be in. Maybe in the situation that you are in, you have not called Christ, but you have just played around with the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Verse, tw verse 24 says like this, until now you have not asked for anything in my name that is jesus reminding us ask and you will receive and your joy will be complete hallelujah we may be in problem right now as a nation we may be in problem right now as a generation but when we trust in jehovah when we trust in this jesus and believe in him and do things according to the ways of jehovah even the fight for our nation let us involve jesus in it let us not go by our own understanding but invite christ the prince of peace he will direct us when jesus was with david there is no war that david was defeated let us hold on to jesus and you as a child of god don't throw away the salvation that God gave you because of the situation, because of the difficulty that are there. But call unto the name of Jesus. There was a given time in the wilderness when the children of Israel were there and they were beaten by the snake because they did a mistake. And God told Moses, make a bronze snake and put it on a stick and raise it high. And anyone that will be brave enough and lift his head and look at the bronze snake, he was healed. Jehovah, as the word says that, as Moses lifted the bronze snake, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that whoever will choose to trust in him, whoever will choose to trust in Jehovah, whoever will choose to call unto the name of Jesus, will be saved. Kenya will be saved. Africa will be saved. When we choose to trust in Jehovah, they are, call, they are calling us that we are lazy. They are calling us that like we are playing. But we know this Jesus. This Jesus is the mighty, mighty king. The prince of peace. The king of kings. And the lion of the tribe of Judah. He is not dead. He is risen. And he is calling us today. Call unto me. And for sure, I shall rescue you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless you so much. Do not give up when the going begin to be tough. You also, you need to be tough. God bless you so much. This is your brother Washington. Shalom, shalom until we meet again. Hamina.